Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home, and in today's video we're going to check out some awesome new 4K discs from Shout Factory. Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel today. For this video, we're going to be looking at the new Halloween collection from 1995 to 2002, so really not the Halloween collection because that leaves out like nine movies, but new 4Ks here from Shout Factory of Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, Halloween H20, and Halloween Resurrection, which are Halloween 6, 7, and 8 in the series. This also includes the producer's cut of Halloween 6, so we'll cover through all of the special features, the packaging, video, and audio quality, and ultimately whether or not these are going to be worth picking up for your collection. So to kick things off, we'll go with Halloween Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Now, quick personal note about this movie, but if you haven't seen the producer's cut, I really do like that version better. It is an entirely different movie. It takes the plot in a somewhat different direction, but I like that movie. I think it's, it's just put together better than the theatrical version, although they both have their merits if you're a Halloween fan. Halloween The Curse of Michael Myers is here on 4K for the first time anywhere. It has the new 4K scan from the original camera negative on the 4K discs. Now they say that it only has a new 4K scan for the theatrical edition, but I believe the producer's cut already got a new transfer for a previously released Blu-ray. Either way, they both look great on 4K. One thing you'll notice, and I'm comparing this to the previous uh, Shout Factory Complete Collection Blu-rays that came out, I don't know, four or five years ago, is that Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, it was like super overexposed. Brightness was way up or exposure was way up. White levels were off. Something was wrong with it because you'll see in the screenshot here of Michael standing in front of these trees with a white backdrop on the Blu-ray release. You actually can't even make out some of the branches. It's so bright. It's so overexposed. And on the 4K, you actually see the entire image. You're going to see that over and over again with the visuals on this compared to the previous Blu-ray releases. This new 4K scan is clearly a much better scan, a nice step forward. Detail is obviously great in 4k resolution with 4k scans from camera negatives always look pristine as well uh, you know as long as the source is good in this case i think it is pretty solid but the biggest difference for me was where the hdr in dolby vision or simply just new color grading in a new restoration of this movie brought out a lot of features that you didn't notice before because it was overexposed so this is a much more natural um, realistic looking picture than what you had previously on blu-ray and so for that reason this one's definitely worth upgrading it's a great release and i think of the three this one was the biggest leap forward from blu-ray to 4k so it was really enjoyable now the audio here is the dts hd master audio 5.1 same as what we previously had so i'm not going to really talk much about that solid 5.1 track nothing really to write home about no atmos upgrade but really not the type of movie that would need it. 5.1 is plenty good enough. Music sounds good. Dialogue is very clear and it has decent, you know, low frequency with the bass. Nothing crazy, pretty average middle of the road track. Packaging, I do like. You can see behind me, I have some of the Halloween posters from the last time. They went back to the same artist. I love the different Michael masks and the leaves in the background. It's very Halloween fall themed. And I, I really like the artwork here. I know it was kind of divisive for some people, but this is actually a four disc set here because it has a bunch of special features. So on the inside, you're gonna get the 4K of the theatrical. And this is a problem. See how that just dropped out? For some reason, this case, this just happened to me before the video too, won't hold its discs in. So I was going to say 4K of the producer's cut before it fell out, Blu-ray of the theatrical and Blu-ray of the producer's cut. The special features are primarily on the Blu-ray. Actually, they're all on the Blu-ray, I should say. None of this stuff is like super new, but there's commentaries, there's interviews with Danielle Harris, there's interviews with Malik Akkad, there's a look at the film's cast with the actresses, the shape of things, special effects makeups, uh, behind the scenes, director photography, production designer, uh, Thomas Calloway, the additional uh, photographer, additional scenes, they all talk about the way they filmed it. There's an interview with Alan Haworth, who was the um, producer, I think. What was he, writer? 
no, sorry, he did the music. Um, there's a tribute to Donald Pleasance. There's archival interviews, behind the scenes footage, alternate and deleted scenes that aren't in either cut of the film. And then there's a teaser trailer for Halloween 666, the origin of Michael Myers, which is really cool if you want to dive into the history of that. So it's a loaded set. Both cuts of the movie in 4K, both cuts on Blu-ray, great special features on the Blu-ray disc as well. Hard to beat this when it comes to a movie like Halloween 6, which is clearly not a top-tier Halloween movie, but personally, it's one of my favorites because I love the two cuts, and I do love the way that they went a different direction with this movie compared to all the others in the franchise, so it's kind of fun for me. So next up, we've got Halloween H20. This was the return of Jamie Lee Curtis before her last return, 40 years later. She came back 20 years later in 1998 to do Halloween H20 with Josh Hartnett. This is actually one of the better Halloween movies. I think it's really well put together, tells a good story, has a very interesting setting at the prep school. LL Cool J's in it. It's a lot of fun. So one of my more favorite i'd say top five of the halloween series now this also has a new 4k scan from the original camera negative which is amazing really highly detailed they definitely had a good source for this they definitely had good budget this was you know this had the fanfare that halloween 2018 had this was jamie lee curtis returning to the role for the first time since halloween 2 this was interesting to have her back for the first time and really play that character she has a son it was a whole new storyline and it clearly had a good source because the 4k here looks great now while halloween 6 was sort of overexposed i would say that the the blu-ray of halloween h20 the, the blu-ray struggled with sort of just an overall color and contrast issue it was a little washed out in some places it lacked a little bit of detail it wasn't a horrible blu-ray by any means but when you take a blu-ray which probably came from either a 2k source or potentially you know from some other recorded media and you bring that to blu-ray that's one thing when you go back and scan the camera negative at 4k totally different ball game best that this movie has ever looked by far the colors are much deeper much richer uh, skin tones you're going to see primary colors all of those things that you really look for that can distract you when they're sort of washed out are much better here so it's not a massive leap forward but especially you know with the dolby vision with the hdr if you've got a good screen oled something that can handle the black levels get really deep into the colors you're gonna have a really good time with this it's it's not an overly bright or colorful movie in fact it is sort of a, a brown gray orange you know very fall color slate i would say but i think it's a worthy upgrade you know you do have to buy the whole set and of these three none of them are really a disappointment this one is maybe not as big a leap as halloween 6 but a worthy upgrade and always great to have a 4k scan probably about as good as this movie will ever look now again no audio upgrade here we got dts hd 5.1 master audio great track good dialogue decent bass good surround action, sound music, everything looks good, right? Sounds good, I should say. Nothing really to talk about there. So, you know, I'm gonna kind of skip that, go right into the packaging again. We got that artwork from this artist who, I'm blanking on his name now, and I, I, should, I should mention his name. Joel Robinson. Joel Robinson did the artwork. I love this artwork. I know some people don't. Now, special features in the 4K disc, you've got a commentary with the director, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Sean Clark moderates that. And then you've got audio commentary again on the Blu-ray. You've got the making of H20 with producers, interviews with the actors, scenes with composer Josh uh, John Ottoman's original score. You've got the vintage interviews, some behind-the-scenes featurettes and behind-the-scenes footage, a still gallery TV spot, and theatrical trailer. So this one's a little bit lighter on the features which is surprising because it's probably the higher profile movie but halloween 6 also had a lot more sort of weird stuff going on with it so there was a lot more opportunity to probably dive into that and now the last of the set from 2002 halloween resurrection this is such a 2000s movie first of all we got buster rhymes fighting off against michael myers just insanity tyra banks is in this the kid from american pie is in this i mean it's a wild movie now it does have an appearance by jamie lee curtis we're talking like five minutes um she's not really in this movie now again we've got a new 4k scan from the original camera negative but halloween resurrection it's not really the type of movie that lends itself well to 4k i would say this is probably the weakest of the movies uh in terms of presentation there are a lot of scenes given that this is sort of quasi found footage right they're trying to play up on like the live streaming 
found footage craze of the early 2000s there's definitely like a Blair Witch influence that was made on this movie um, you know they're trying to play around with different cameras and different techniques so it's not always the prettiest movie now the moments where you get some just straight on shots with you know the better cameras and not handhelds or security cameras or whatever those look good they look good you can see in some of the screenshots that the skin tones are improved your primary colors improved things are brighter fire looks more orange it looks more realistic than what the blu-ray gave you it's not going to be a night and day difference for a lot of people and this isn't probably the type of movie that you know people are going to run out to grab on 4k but as included as part of this set it is nice to get that new scan new transfer new color grading dolby vision all that good stuff and clearly this is as good as this movie will ever look because i'm not really sure there's anywhere else you could go with it so it's a top tier disc this whole set is top tier by shout factory they've done a great job but really what this one comes down to is is the color because you do lo lose a lot of the detail with just the way it was shot and once again master audio 5.1 nothing to write home about there same track and you've got that same artwork by joel robinson i really like this again loving the hard slip cases too like these are solid like arrow video type quality so shout factory is learning you've got halloween resurrection here just the two disc set like h20 you've got your 4k you've got your blu-ray um that's what you've got inside no digital codes with any of this either i should mention now on the 4k disc you've got an audio commentary with the director uh, Rick Rosenthal and editor Robert Freddy and then on the blu-ray you've actually got some new interviews with production uh, designers the makeup artists stunt doubles and actors Sean Patrick Thomas and Gary Clayton you've got that commentary again you get deleted scenes and alternate endings you've got a webcam special which is kind of fun to play with you've got vintage interviews behind the scenes head cam storyboard analysis set tours set interviews still galleries home video tv spots which are cool if you've liked my home video history series those are always fun to watch the old home video commercials and then the theatrical trailer so actually more features on this than on h20 this is more on par with halloween 6. now i should mention the overall packaging you get kind of a flimsy cardboard box it's nothing really crazy it's not at the same level of quality like their friday the 13th set was or even their previous halloween blu-ray set but with the hard slip covers in here i don't really mind it and it does have some neat artwork on the back and all the special features included so if you want to pick this up i will leave a link in the description where you can grab it it's a little pricey gotta say about 100 bucks for three movies you know 33 34 dollars a piece but with what you're getting producers cut theatrical cut you know that would cost you 30 bucks on its own for halloween 6 on blu-ray new 4k scans they put a lot of work into this so i give them credit i do think this set will dip in time though you'll probably see this at the you know 60 70 80 dollar price point in one of shout factory's sales next year but if you want to watch it now before october's up in 2022 grab it use my link and that helps support my channel so i appreciate it also make sure you subscribe for more videos like this 4k reviews podcasts coming back soon season two is launching we're gonna have plenty of new interviews interviews and all kinds of movie content coming your way so subscribe to the channel so you never miss that follow us on social media all the links are in the description and check out all the other links for my partners so you can support them which helps me out as well but thanks for watching have a great rest of your day stay safe and healthy out there let's just be happy we get all these great halloween movies on 4k props to shout factory and i will talk to you guys soon